Oh, uh, so would you like to start? Uh, okay, sure. Um, I'm from Singapore, and Singapore is uh. Sorry, what, what do you what do you know about Singapore again? Why I came here? Because it was the furthest destiny. The stereotype of Australia and Sydney is about like can kangaroos, uh, wallabies, koalas, and uh, and brown surfers. <laughs> That's it. At the moment, we have about uh, over 7,000 international students that are doing postgraduate. I think people tend to get homesick or adjustment problems. For me, when the first time I came, the impressions were a bit wrong because I thought I would have a lot of fun and like it's a big city with a lot of beach, but uh, I don't have much friend here other than like who and how who I hang out with. It is really difficult to to move from your culture and start a new life in, in another country completely different. Life is completely different. What I've seen is like there's in, an international student group and within the group there's, there are some little groups usually depending on the background. If you go to Koya and stuff like that, you will see uh, one Aussie student crew, one Asian yeah, yeah. crew. Yeah, that's right. But you don't usually see <coughs> mixed students all together, like international students. Um, so I, I've seen some European getting only with Europeans, Asian only getting with Asian. They feel more comfortable within their own culture. They may venture out. I mean, the English is good enough. They can venture out to talk with other people, interact with other students. I remember once at the Royal House, there was that famous comedian and everyone was laughing and I was like, I don't have any of the slutty humor. That's kind of the Australian accent. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. It's pretty hard to understand. Yeah. Awesome. Don't really open the mouth. You're in an English speaking country. If you can't speak English well enough, it'll be easy for you to get you know, misunderstood by other people. And especially you know, when there's so many accents going on, like it's hard to understand English as it, as it is, you know, when someone else speaks in a different accent. With Koreans and um, with Koreans and people from Hong Kong, they are, they, they are maybe more shy, like they are afraid to do mistakes. That's what it, they seem to be afraid to do mistakes with Australians. And like, so they try, they try not to talk too much. And like Australians sometimes don't understand them or uh, try to, to allow them to talk, but it's hard, so in the end, there's less interaction. I think people are just not tolerant enough to actually deal with differences. Definitely there's many difficulties speaking with the local and stuff like that. And they would never feel comfortable talking to local students because either they're conscious about their language ability or they don't actually understand, they worry about other people not understanding them as well. If you come into a country and then mixing with, with the people from the countries, there's no point coming, you just can just stay in your home country and that's it. So. so basically, if you can break down that barriers, the language barriers, and you just get down to the fact that we are actually basically the same. There's no reason that just because someone's skin colour is very dark, then you feel sort of like, oh, I'm, sort of, I'm not sure, you know, or the language is slightly different, how am I going to just talk to the other person? I think it can. It just depends on how much confidence they have in themselves. Go to pubs. <laughs> They're the best way to meet people. I haven't. I've never met my Aussie mates. Australia is like it's a lot of bitches and like bitches. Yeah. <clears throat>